Good morning, YouTube. All right, we want easy, inexpensive, decadent, over the top delicious. Yeah, let's do a pork pot roast that is to die for. He'll have angels singing in your kitchen. <laughs> All right. Takes a lot of time, but most of it unattended. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get started on our pot roast. Okay, so I just happen to have this giant roaster. The same exact process will work if you put everything in a big Dutch oven uh, and put a lid on it and stick it in the oven, okay? But I wanna use my oven for something else later, so I pulled out this roaster. I have a nine pound pork shoulder. You'll also see them uh, sold as pork butts. I don't know why they call it a butt. It's not a butt, it's a shoulder. So there's that. All right. This is one of the simplest things you're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna put our heat on 350 degrees, and I'm gonna just toss in some stuff. Okay, so I'm starting off with two bulbs of fennel that I just cut into chunks. Put those in there. And then I have a couple of onions that again, I just cut into quarters, so a couple of onions. And this all just goes right in there. This is gonna flavor the liquid, which will become our gravy. Ooh. All right, now, about a third of a cup of red wine. If you have a nice dry white, you could use that. And I have an entire little six ounce can of tomato paste. The only reason I'm doing this I forgot my tomatoes. Again, this is all the stuff that's going to combine with the juices that are going to cook out of this roast. There we go. It's going to make a beautiful flavored gravy. All right, so I'm just stirring that up. You don't have to get too precious with it. Boom. Okay. All right, now I have a whole, it looks like I've got every seasoning on the planet, and I don't. First of all, if you had Italian seasoning, you'd have these four right here. So what we have is, which one's which? Oregano, uh, two full tablespoons of oregano. And this seems like a lot, but don't forget, we're talking about nine pounds of pork, two tablespoons at a time. That's a lot of meat. So this seems like a ton of seasoning or a lot of volume, but it's not. A couple of tablespoons of rosemary. If you have fresh, use fresh. It's raining outside. I just don't want to go cut fresh rosemary. All right. A couple of bay leaves. About half a tablespoon of crushed red pepper flakes. A tablespoon of fennel seed. The fennel is really phenomenal in this. All right, a good tablespoon of just plain old black pepper. And a tablespoon each, garlic powder and onion powder. If y'all know me, I love my garlic powder and my onion powder. Okay. Now, here's where a lot of you all are going to freak out. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I don't want to hear it. Okay, so a couple tablespoons of kosher salt. It's not near as much salt as you think. Actually, that breaks down to what? Less than a teaspoon per pound plus the liquid. Okay, all right, here's, here's what I don't wanna hear about. It's been proven that the whole MSG thing is kind of a myth, right? There's a whole deal about how somebody actually made it up right? But scientifically, they've never been able to identify that MSG does anything, right? It's a myth. <laughs> it's also magic. So a tablespoon of MSG. And if you just cannot get your head around MSG, just don't use it, okay? A um, couple other things I forgot to grab. I'm going to go grab them right now, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so a couple of ribs of celery. I just broke them up into pieces. 
And you could use a couple pounds of fresh tomatoes if you have them. I don't have them, but I do have two cans of diced tomatoes. The only reason you're mixing everything up like this, there's actually no really reason. <clears throat> so you don't have to open your roaster or your lid of, the, of your Dutch oven and let all the heat out. So that goes right over the top. It's already getting nice and hot. You can hear that sizzle. That's going to make an incredibly rich, savory broth. All right, final thing. Eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. These are the baby bellas, they call them, little cremini mushrooms. Um, use what you have or what you like. If you want buttons, use buttons. Okay, this is it. We're waiting on about six hours, so five o'clock my time. That's about perfect. All right, wanted to show you a couple things. Woo! I'm gonna turn the camera off for part of this just because it's awkward and I'm gonna have to like be maneuvering all over the place and y'all don't need to watch me do that. Okay, so you see this bone right here? Can you see that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can you see how it's pulled away? That means your roast is just about done. If you want another little test real quick, just to double check. If you can do this, and you see how it flakes up like that? If it's gotten that texture, it's perfect. Okay, that's hot as blue blazes. Holy cow, that's good. Mm. All right. Woo, hot. So here's what I'm gonna do. See all this luscious stuff down here? We're gonna get all of that. We're gonna strain it. We're gonna take it over the stove and we're gonna simmer it. I want to get it out of there though, so that I can get some of the fat off the top. It's loaded with fat right now. But all that beautiful stuff we put in there to build flavor, that's exactly where it is. So I'm just gonna get all the juices out and we're gonna head to the stove top with a strainer. All right, so this is kind of funny, but it happens sometimes. So I got all of the juices strained off and I got most of the fat off the top. There's a good bit. I'd say there was probably a half inch thick layer. So there's a little tiny bit left. And I went to go put it on the stove to kind of reduce it to, uh, shoot, <laughs> concentrate the flavors. And then I tasted it and it's perfect. So we're not gonna do that. Um, if yours tastes a little thin, simmer it until it reduces by, I don't know, a quarter. If it's too thick, which that can happen too. Um, add a little chicken broth, okay? That's all you gotta do. This, glorious, perfect the way it is. All right, so, clean fork. This, that's your masterpiece right there. <laughs> we're gonna come under here. We're gonna sneak a little, a little tad out of the bottom, a little bit of sauce. Hi, Boone. Oh. <laughs> mm. And then the angels sing. Hallelujah, that is good stuff. Mm. All right, y'all. Cheap, pork fat is super cheap. Easy to cook. I mean, I walked away and played hard all day. And so delicious, people will think, you were just like killing yourself all day and you didn't. So this is about as good as it gets.